right guys welcome back to the channel uh today we are going to be getting uh new tires for the shelby um the tires that are on here the toyo uh r888 r's they're really good and i really do like them but um when gavin had put them on here they were if y'all remember they were from his camaro so they weren't brand brand new but they i mean they weren't old and used and abused and all that either but when i got the car i drove it back from louisiana all the way to, to san antonio um i uh did a couple pulls in it i, I basically daily drive the, the shelby um meets all that stuff and then i did one burnout uh it wasn't i mean it was decent i mean if y'all remember on my instagram and stuff um i did a burnout in the shelby and I think I did a little bit too long. Um, it is what it is. I was just excited to, to do it. Um, then after that, I think two days later, I went to the track. Um, and at the track, I was doing burnouts to kind of heat up the tires and stuff like that. Um, you know, and then launching at the track. And it just, it wore them down pretty bad. And uh, ever since, uh, after that, I went to, I went racing. Um, the videos that I posted, I went racing and it just, I would do 60 pull, 60 rolls in second gear and I would just spin. So it, it would spin like at the, at the jump and then it would be fine. But, uh, I would shift into the next gear and it would spin a little bit. So, uh, this past Sunday, I actually, um, tried to do a, a 30 roll or four, 45 roll and in first gear and it just, the car did not like it. So. I'm gonna pick up some new tires today for the for the Shelby because the back tire size is a 325, 325, 30, 19. So I went ahead and went with the Eagle F1 Supercar 3Rs. Uh, I, I saw really good reviews on them. Uh, a lot of Shelbys are running them, a lot of uh, Camaros, the ZL1s are running them. Um, so I just thought maybe that would be a good tire. Uh, they're brand new so we're actually going to top notch over here so when i get there i'll i'll show their their shop and everything and a uh, good buddy of mine uh roland he he's the one that helped me out with it and and helped me choose a you know a good tire so i wanted to stay with the same size um i was gonna try to do like a drag pack or try to sell these the ones that are on the shelby and maybe get a drag pack or some Ford Stars or something, but a lot of people just encourage me to stay with the look, and I think I am for a little bit. I definitely want to get new tires though, new, I mean, new rims, new wheels. You know, I want to definitely want to do that at a later date, but that's going to be one of my things for sure. Um, so let's get to it, guys. Hopefully, I'm going to try to use the chest mount uh, GoPro. I don't know how that's gonna work out. So I'm gonna try it though. Um, but let me show you all the, uh, I'm actually on, I'm actually on, if y'all can see that, I actually hit 7,000 miles or 7,100 miles. So it's, uh, she's getting old. <laughs> I got her, I got her with 4,000. So in the span of uh, September, October, November, I spent two months up at 3,000 miles on her. So, I mean, the majority of that though was from uh, coming from Louisiana to Texas uh, or to uh, San Antonio. So that was kind of, that was the, the main for the main brunt of the, of the miles. So here are the r Uh I'll do a couple pulls to kind of show y'all like how they, it, it, they're gonna spin. So I don't know if y'all can see in there, like right in the middle, let me see if you get a better view. See, so right there, they're kind of bald. Not 100%. I mean, they're still decent enough to drive on. So it's just, it's time to get new tires. New tires. Um, let's get to the shop. Hopefully, um, I can do a couple pulls for y'all. And to tell the difference, I'll do, I'll probably just do 60s. I'm not going to do nothing crazy. Um, but we'll see. So let's get to the shop, guys. Let's get this day started. Um, Shelby's nice, warmed up. Good oil pressure, good temp, everything. Uh, doesn't need to warm up a little bit, but that's fine. Um, so let's get it, guys. 
All right, guys, y'all are on the chest mount. Uh, let's get going. I don't know how I'm gonna like the chest mount because it's kind of in the way of the of the seat belt. Uh, if not, then I'll switch to. I do have a head mount for it. Let's see, second gear, second gear. Uh, forty. Okay, let's let's give it a shot. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all can tell. That was that was me skating. <laughs> uh, get these new tires put on, and then see what it can do. Cause uh, I'm kind of interested to see. I mean, no matter what, no matter what roll I, I spin, like I can do a 60 roll on the R Triple Eight R's, and I'll still spin. So I do plan on keeping the tires though. So I'm gonna have to find a way on how they'll fit <laughs> fit in the Shelby. If not, I'm gonna have to pick them up later or something. Um, because yeah, man, it's it, I definitely want to keep those tires. Those are those tires. Uh, you know, obviously came on came on the car, but you know I just want to keep them for memory and stuff. And even though they have little to no life left, so uh, let's get to it, guys. Uh, let's get to the shop, and uh, I'll catch y'all up from there. See the tires are here. She. I heard so many good reviews on these things, on these, on these tires right there. Dude, let me see those. Let me see that tire real quick. Oh my god, <laughs> it's freaking. Yeah, that's why I was spinning. That's why I was spinning right there. That's crazy. Look how big these brakes are. That's crazy. We tried to fit a 17 and it just did not. Obviously, didn't fit. But yeah, these are the Goodyear 325 3019s Ego F1 Supercar 3Rs. So, pretty good tread. I mean, they're freaking huge, guys. So, it's getting put on. It's good. Tires coming off. I want to see how big that rim is. <laughs> Just got back home. I uh, didn't record the drive back. Um, the GoPro had died. So forgive me on that, but these wheels or these tires, should I say, they are fantastic. So yeah, they are, they look really good, nice and hot. Um, did do a couple pulls on them just to see, and I am amazed with them. Um, on, on little areas like, I mean, like, I mean, obviously I'm not going to be street racing on, on regular streets, but highway pulls, I did a 40, uh, I did a 60 and they, they hooked really, really good. Um, I was really surprised cause I didn't, I, I did a couple, uh, pulls on the, on the street and they were just spinning and I was just like, ah, uh, I didn't know if I made a good choice, but, um, yeah, made a pretty good choice. Uh, after all, I mean, they're. You know they're pretty good they're they stick uh i did a 40 i did it the lowest pull i did was a 40 and it basically dead hooked uh last time with the archer blade r's i spun like crazy so it's just i'm just happy i'm happy with the results i'm happy with uh how the wheels came out or the tires should i say sorry um they they look they look like they stick out a little bit more a little bit more than the R Triple Eight R's. I don't know. I kind of like the look of them. Like I was talking with the uh, Roland there at Top Notch Wheels and Tires. Um, kind of looks like we looks like a drag radio. Um, but I don't know. Again, 
uh, top notch here in San Antonio. If y'all y'all here in San Antonio looking for wheels and tires, definitely go to them. They have the best service. They will help you with whatever you need. If you need um, opinions or if you need help on choosing the offset, anything you need, um, they will help you. They uh, they were gonna help me get some wheels and uh, some wheels for the car, but I just went ahead with tires went with tires right now, especially you know with the holiday season coming up. Uh, gotta gotta get some presents for the kids and stuff. So um, definitely go to them. Top notch here in San Antonio. Uh, look up Roland. Uh, he's amazing. Um, definitely ten out of ten experience, and I'll definitely be going back because I, I need some. Uh, I gotta. We, we kind of talked about a a setup that I'm gonna be maybe purchasing soon for this one and possibly the fox uh you know it's i'm not too sure yet but again that'll probably be into next year um but the tires are good it hooks it gets you know now i got i want to take it to the track um and see see what it does um as far as better timing um whatever hopefully it does better mile an hour all that stuff because my 60 foot like i was saying are trash they're just complete trash um but yeah y'all definitely hit up top notch uh wheels and tires here in san antonio and i mean that's that's about it guys that's that's it for this video um i am bringing the the r triple eight back here to my to my garage i don't know what i want to do with them yet i think i'm just gonna store them somewhere just for you know just to know that those were gavin's tires you know what i mean so i thought it was pretty cool so i'm gonna i'm gonna bring those back um but other than that that's about it guys uh thank y'all for going along with the ride with me uh, i had a lot of fun um see what the the tires can do it's crazy what crazy what a tire setup can do it's so crazy just look at that meaty meaty boy so yeah it's, <laughs> excuse me i got allergies pretty bad so appreciate y'all guys um i'm like 20 away from having a thousand subscribers uh it's pretty cool i started like at 300 i think so it's pretty cool to have um 700 of y'all <laughs> subscribe uh just just know that i really do appreciate it um i appreciate everybody still congratulating me still thanking me or still appreciating the car uh shelby so it's it's a, it's awesome uh, i really appreciate it um just like comment subscribe guys and i'll catch y'all next time